out here a few times. He always got amazing people supporting him, doing what he do. Just starting in the comedy game, man. And I told him to keep going because I feel your style, brother. Paul. Um, I want y'all to put your hands together right now. Put your hands together right now. Put your hands together right now. And give it up for Donald. I'm on the west side though. I don't know if y'all talking about over here. I don't know, I don't know if y'all heard that or not. How y'all doing tonight? Thank y'all for having me out here tonight. Y'all looking good. We had a good crowd tonight. Thank you, Tony Lamont. I don't know where you went, but thank you for giving me my shot. I definitely do appreciate that shit. Where's everybody from though? Y'all from the east side, west side, where y'all from? Shout it out, shout it out, shout out where you from. I hear you. I'm from Dexter. Oh yeah, Dexter and Joy Road, man. Where you real at? It's real as fuck. But you know what? I lived a lot of different places, East Lansing, and different states and everything. But you know the crazy thing about living in the hood is the shit that you see in the hood. Like I was in the hood earlier today and this is the fucking craziest shit I always see every time. It really pisses me off. I wish I could move, but you know, sometimes situations prevent you from being able to leave. So you just be mad every day. Like, God damn it, I live in this motherfucker. What these niggas doing? I walk around, this shit's so fucking crazy on Dexter because the craziest shit I seen, this is earlier today. I'm like going to the liquor store because I gotta get my drink on. Gotta get that. I'm right on Dexter. I look off Dexter, like Dexter proper. We going down the street, it's a nigga riding on a bike on a, on a huffy with a rake in his hand. I'm like, God damn, what the fuck is going on? I keep going down the street, and this is crackhead standing there in the middle of the street like this. Looking at his hands, and I, I'm like looking at him like, what the fuck is going on? So I get to the thing, and the thing about living in the hood is that you develop these mannerisms. Like these fucked up ass mannerisms where you just kind of like, Gotta walk around like this and shit, looking around and shit. Like, what's going on? I go to the liquor store, I gotta walk in there, I gotta check my butt. Hey, what up, though? <laughs> yeah, like, uh, yeah, let me get a Hennessy cold, though. I need a pack of Red Lows, Red Pack, and two loose. I don't even smoke, but I get that shit so niggas know don't fuck with me, nigga. I smoke that loose. Don't fuck with me. I ain't playing with y'all, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's just fucking crazy living in the motherfucking hood. This shit be tripping me the fuck out. You know, I travel a lot and shit. So it's like, that shit fuck me up because when I travel and shit, I still have my hooded out mannerisms and shit. I get off the plane in New York, I'm looking at niggas all crazy and shit. What the fuck y'all niggas look at? They smiling at me, I'm looking at them fucking crazy like, what the fuck? What you want? What's good? It takes me a couple days to adjust though. You know, after a couple days, I start smiling, I'm all happy and shit, and I'm like, oh man, New York's great, man, they got subways and shit. These bums do tricks out here, they come out there, they start singing to you on this shit in the subway. I'm happy, I get a nigga five dollars, like shit, you gonna sing me a song? It's a lot better than saying, like, let me get 87 cents, nigga. I, I need 87 cents. I'm like, where the fuck, how do you know I got 87 cents? And I'd rather would have given you a dollar if you would have said a dollar. I'm like 87 cent nigga, that shit's too random for me. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. That shit fucks me up so bad. It's like I'm out of town and I'm like all happy and shit. So as soon as I get back to the D, I forget that, you know, where I was just at ain't like the D no more. I'm like happy, I'm walking around, smiling and shit, going up. Niggas looking at me crazy now. I'm like, God damn, fuck around, get fucking robbed again, cause I'm smiling and shit, coming back from the goddamn city. That shit's fucked up, you know? So, but I really ain't come to talk about hoods and shit. I actually can't talk about single, I'm single and shit, so I can't talk about hoes. Cause I'm single, so I can talk about hoes. I think that I can, I'm talking about them hoes that you call up late at night, about like 2 a.m. I'm talking about you call them up, you like, what up? She text him at 10 a.m., like 2 a.m. after this club, I'm coming to fuck the shit out of you. I'm coming to get it. You better be, you better be ready. You know, you don't ever get to meet the family. You don't, you don't know shit about nobody. Yeah, that's me. They always call me up about 2 a.m. trying to come through and shit. I'm like wondering, like, damn, is it because I'm single or is it because I'm a hoe? 
Then they called him like that. I don't know if I'm really a hoe. I just said, I'm, no, I might have thought that. I realized what I was. Hey, 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 but listen, I, re- I, realize, I, realize, I realize what I was. I was really just the third nigga. I was the third nigga. It's still a thought, but I was the third nigga. Hey, thank you. Hey, I, I, but I actually. I, well. You just got no, you actually just got no fear. I'm just saying. I tell you what I going on. But we definitely can uh, make something happen after the show. You know, kind of too. If you're willing to take third place. I'm not really telling you if you're number one or two. I can't really handle all of that shit tonight. I can't handle all the pressure of being number one or two. The crazy thing is, I, I realized I was the third nigga because, like, the first nigga take her out on dates. The second one talk about the first nigga all day. The third nigga all day called me up through the fuck. They just like, hey, what up? Can I come hit that shit? Hey, what the fuck? All right, I'm at the crib. Come through. It's all good. I'm happy being third place. It's kind of like, it's like I realized that third place was cool because you still get notoriety. I'm like the third place with 10 different chicks. So I'm not really single. I'm not single. I got three relationships. I got, I'm got i a third place nigga everywhere. It sucks to be that shit because nobody come through for me when I need them. I don't get a ride or nothing. They come pick me up. I'll take you on a date, nigga. I need to see you. Number one and two is fucking up. I need to see your ass, nigga, right tonight. It's just fucking crazy because I... Like, I realized that, you know, if you look at my choking room, I got like a choking full of bronze medals and shit. It's just like the fucking crazy shit in the world. I'm like always in motherfucking third place. Don't nobody discuss me. I ain't never met no family. They ain't never met, like, I ain't never met nobody mama. I'm like, damn, is it because I'm ugly or something? What the fuck? Like, it's kind of crazy that I'm in that shit. So it's like, I realized that like, since you don't have no pressure being third place, I have to, have to start using that as my picture to get on girls. I said, hey, how you doing? You look really nice tonight. You right there. But, you know, I'm only really interested if you want me to be your third place guy because I, I can't do number one or two. I don't really have the patience. But number three, I definitely can come through for it. And it really doesn't work that much. So I, it's okay. But I'm definitely the third nigga because like, I'm probably going to call later on tonight. But uh, anyway, I'm trying to get fucked over here too. Like, shit. That's why I brought the joke out. You go jump. I just, I catch an Uber though. You can just call me an Uber. I'm good with that. Oh, uh, I, I probably should have said where I was from. <laughs> it would pick up very much. I'm kind of worried about it. Right there. She was just so confused with this shit. She was so confused. She was. 